often talk about you throw one away, you move forward. It's, it's still first team to four victories. Is that easier said than done to just move past something like this? Uh, no. Nah. Uh, it came out and hit us in the mouth. And uh, we didn't know how to respond. Gabe, um, what was their switching able to do? What kind of effect did it have on your offense that that didn't happen in game one? Uh, I think we changed the way we played. Obviously, they, they're a very effective defensive team. They flattened us out. Uh, you know, the ball got stagnant. We didn't move it as much. And we saw the result of that when they went on their run. For either of you guys, um, you know, Marcus Smart on the stat sheet had a huge had a huge night, but just what was his impact uh, out there just beyond the numbers to have him back in the game? Um, I think he, he gave him a lot of confidence. He gave him a lot of confidence. I mean, uh, obviously defensively he did what he did, and um, they packed the paint. Uh, he made some, some plays offensively, and uh, as the game went on, he got more comfortable and more and more comfortable and started making some shots, and we saw him fill it up in the second half. Any other questions? Uh, for for both Gabe and, and Bam, because the team has obviously played well all postseason, does that make it easier to have confidence even after a lopsided home loss? I mean, we've lost a game in the playoffs before. I mean, it's a loss. Whether you lose by one or by 20. So it's recoup, go back to the drawing board, and get ready for game three. Uh, piggyback on what he said is first to four. <clears throat> I mean, obviously, we got to go back, watch film, and uh, see what we did wrong, see the mistakes we made, and uh, how we can bounce back. All right, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Black Lives Matter, people.